Audio, this is Texas Gaming Industries here, and welcome to episode 22, part 2 of my Let's Play Transport Fever 2. In the previous episode, we arrived in France, as we're getting ready to help get the stage set up for another World's Fair here in Paris, as our first task is to deliver some sandstone to this construction materials plant and supply the fairgrounds with building materials. And in this episode, we're going to get started with that by connecting some services to the stations so we can start operating some passenger trains, as well as start transporting our first load of freight, sandstone, from this quarry to Paris. Now you might notice in the bottom left corner, I was able to change the currency. Instead of the dollar sign, we now have the appropriate francs. Which means everything that we'll buy, receive it as an income, and pay expenditures, all will basically be in francs. Now, I stated I wanted to basically use different currencies depending on the region of the world I'm playing in, but that was for the free mode games. But I decided just to try something a little different, as basically, this is going to only apply to countries that only have, well, basically, all set in one particular region. But maps like the one with Italy and Sao Paulo, that it will not basically feature a custom currency. But anyway, let's get started with some simple operations. First of all, we're going to lay down a road to basically transport passengers from the nearby town of Torres to the station. We'll place the station here, one right here. Now, you might be surprised to see... Hang on. There we go. Surprise that Torres... Ba Troy is, basically, has some construction materials that has needed to be delivered here. Which is perfect. So we can basically do some goodwill stuff and deliver some supplies to these local towns. However, for some of the towns that don't have a rail connection... Buses will basically have horse-drawn carriage. Long distance bus, long distance bus services will basically serve that particular region. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I will need to build a new bus stop. There we go. One for the local bus, and one for the basically long distance bus. But due to the rivers, I could basically start transporting some building material. So we'll basically place down a harbor dock here in Paris, and then connect both ends. All right. Then we'll basically place down another dock at one end of the map. One over here. One over here. No, I'll have to delete this building, these two buildings, just to get that to work. Despite that, though, everything seems to be in order. But now, let's focus on basically doing the rest of our system. We'll go up, and then connect here. We'll place a bus stop there, and one up here. Perfect. Now, let's focus on our trolley route. We'll basically build the trolley system here in Paris. However, though, I want to basically build a trolley system that does not basically go on some of the more crowded roadways. It may not look like it, but with this street traffic layer, I can see that some of those street traffic areas are located around in these parts. So building a trolley through that area does not seem logical if my trolleys want to get to their destinations on time. Because of that, I'll have to think of another way to do it. Hmm... It's a bit risky, but I'll have to do it. But now, as you can see, 
as I'm placing these tram tracks down, I'm paying the proper currency. Jeez, I like realism in this stuff. It will go back along the same route as the one we did. However, it will go over a bridge in this particular section, so it will avoid the crowds. It will connect, do that. There we go. Actually, too much slope. Hmm. Actually, I think this will probably work a lot better. Let's see. Yep, that works a lot better. Now let's place down some trolley stops. We'll place some here at the station. Some here at the commercial district. Some here uh, at the industrial district. Of course, I gotta have a set and deserve the exposition grounds. Hang on, did I? S oh, there we go. Sometimes it's. it's the traffic tool layer is kind of hard to work with, as I might accidentally get the road under playership owner. Well, owner, player, <laughs> player ownership. Okay, let's see. We'll place another set here in the residential. We'll also do this here, and then just build another street to connect to this road, to connect here. With that done, we can now get started on placing down some signals. I'll be using the rent face signals for this again, like I did on the Yukon map. Let's see. Let's see. Right there, and then there. Then another one here. Let's see. And for the branch lines, these own MZA signals will be used. Well, the main line will have these more modern variants. Let's see. A little too far apart. All right, we're at rims. Let's see. Place a couple of these other signals in here. Hmm. 
This is going to be a bit of tricky. So I'll just place those signals that lead to the station on the outside of these tunnels. Let's see. Let's place down some of these other signals. All right. I think a proper connection into this will be a little bit tricky. Let's see. Hmm. I could transport them to the station by road from one end to the other. But that could be a long trip. I need to have a good amount of distance. And I need to make sure there's plenty of way for my vehicles to travel up. Well, what I'm saying is, they need to have a clear road, because if traffic backs up, then my vehicles are going to get stuck, and the deliveries are going to be delayed. So, let's basically make sure they'll have a super quick, direct access. I feel like we'll need about a four-track station. We'll do it on a free 20 meter platform like we did for the passenger stations. We can also deliver machinery and clothing later on. Let's see. We'll place one here in the on the west side and some on the east. Hmm. Think. Well, yeah. East and west. We'll place one right here. And these. And then we'll place a couple of these large cargo buildings to basically make sure there's plenty of storage. Collision. Great. Can I basically build a road to go beyond that? There we go. I might as well convert all my trolley track with electricity. Because I'll need those electrified trolleys. Oh. Let me see if I could just fix this and then just add this. There we go. Let me see. Yeah, there is no catenary. I thought I got the catenary down when I laid down the trolley tracks. Maybe I didn't. Well, it's all done. And now I just gotta do is just finish laying signals down on the main line. But I also gotta make sure I have plenty of space to build the tracks to the freight yard. Huh. 
Alright, signals are set. Now it's time to finish laying down this track. As for the sidings like this, we'll be using a bit of these MZA Mono Dwarf signals. Let's see. up and connect there we go now everything is set let's place down an engine depot and get some trains started Yep, just have to make sure that those were set. Let me see. We'll place down these mono signals then. Now, let's get some routes. Paris Central Station to Rems. Local trains will be gray. Local train A. And then the second one from Rems. The Troyes, which will be local train B. Then I gotta get freight train, the first freight train set up. Hmm. Oh, I don't think I installed the slip switch. Did I? Oh, that's a one way signal. No wonder. Freight train A. Full load of 10 minutes. Route 1. Platform 1. To platform 1. That's not going to work at all. Got to place down a waypoint. Upper Paris through Waypoint 1, then Waypoint 2 on the return trip. Perfect. They'll follow the trolley route, so they won't basically block the way. Wagon Convoy A. Green and the only commodity you're picking up is sandstone. You will unload. Hang on. Let me see. Hmm. I'll need a spot for the, all these four places, so... I'm basically just going to build a particular spot here. So the trucks won't... So my horse-drawn carts won't get in the way of the trolleys or the roads. Alright. Then at this... Thankfully, it's going on the same route as the truck, going on a route that's basically not super crowded. 
I think. Green again. Then it's just gonna unload. This will be Wagon Convoy B. And of course, I gotta set up my new shipping routes. Could not connect all stations. Hang on, let me have a look at the water... Navigable waterways. Oh! This bridge right here that I built for my trolleys is basically too darn low. Will it work this time? No, it won't. Hmm... It's navigatable through Paris. Oh, I think this bridge is too low as well. There we go. That was the problem. But how am I going to basically build a trolley line over the water? I guess I'll have to build a, a bit of a taller bridge. That one looks a little too tall. seems that depending on the bridge's angle, it base. Oh! Will that work? No. Jeez, this bridge is starting to really get annoying. Let's see, will this one work? Still not a bit- still not naviga navigatable. I don't get it! How is it not navigatable? Hmm. Maybe I should just build over on this. There we go. Much, much better. I could just simply reconnect there, place down the tra tracks to replace it. Good. But now I gotta figure out how to get the. Hmm. Speed of which. Yeah. Construction not possible. Because of the buildings in the way. It's, let's see. Can I? Yeah, that's not gonna work. Let me see. Maybe I could just. Hmm. Man, this is a bit of a troublesome path I found. Let me see, maybe I could do it like this. That works, somewhat, though it's kind of difficult to find a slope, an easy gradient down. Looks like I'll have to do a little bit of demolishing around town in order to get a great smooth enough to go. There we go. Then we'll have to do the same for this. Too much slope. Too much darn slope. Alright. There we go. Now my ships can travel through, and my trolleys can still carry on with their usual route. Let's see. Let's go from there. To there. To there. There. In there. Trolley route. Route A1. I'm having. A, I'm gonna build a new one eventually. And trolley route A2. Gotta get rid of these stations. And just do the same one I did previously. Make this one orange as well. This will be purple for sh for cargo ships. So ship route A. And ship route B. Actually, A2. And A1. To 
minutes. 10 minutes. All right. Now I just gotta build themselves a small depot to, uh, for my ships. And of course, I gotta get one for my trucks and one for my trolleys. We'll place the trolley depot out here. And this one right here. Then I'll have to do the same one here at Rems. And the same here at Troy's. Alright. Everything seems prepared for our operations. Though, I can also transport some building materials to La Havre by connecting the freight station. By building a freight station there. Let's basically add that, but we can expand upon it in the next episode. Alright. Time to get serious and let's buy some vehicles. Now, there are a lot of vehicles I could choose from a couple of tank engines, some vanilla engines, and a couple of modded engines. One of which is the generic UK steam engines which has been version 2, which has a whole bunch of different engines we could buy. Though, for our passenger services, I think we'll take the 442 singles for the express passenger service, but we'll need a tank engine to service on our, passenger, on our local passenger trains. We'll take the 242 Colombian type. And as our passenger wagons, there's a couple that we can get. We'll get the British Bogey Coach. Let's see. Actually, let's give these engines a bit of a new coat of paint. Let me think. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Let's just add one of these. And our passenger wagons will basically be in this particular color. Jeez. I don't even know what color I should choose. Hmm. We'll probably go with this color. Or better yet, we'll just do a deep red. We can basically switch this up later. A third class carriage. Well, a first class carriage. Or a third class carriage. And a brake coach. Need to purchase some more Franks. Actually, let's just keep the steam engine's colors stock. Okay, 242 tank. Let's basically use some of these British style coaches. You came. Let's see. Luggage van, two first class, two third class, and one freight coach. That's our two first and passenger engines, but now we need a goods engine. We'll use the 060 goods logo. We'll basically use this, the 0606 coupled freight engine. And we'll use a couple of these generic British wagons to carry the sandstone. We'll basically use the four planks. Because these wagons still hold the same amount of cargo, no matter which design you choose. Let's carry about 490 units. And now with our trains purchased, we can now get them set up. We'll get local train A first. Then local train B, then freight train A.
All right. Oh, I almost forgot. We gotta do the internet. We gotta do the intercity bot services. Okay, this will be intercity inter bus A. And the intercity buses are gonna be brown. While the local buses are gonna be in yellow. But since they're not buses, we're just gonna call them carriage service. A and carriage service B. Let's see. We'll purchase about six of these Haley trams. Put them in trolley route A and trolley route B. Let's make sure that they all know where they're going and they're not going to cross over to another platform. Everything looks good. And now I've got to get some wagons. Let's see. Hmm. We'll get 10 first to be set up for Wagon Convoy A and another 10 for Route B. Well, yeah, Route B. And then I'll need a pair of ships. Let's see. I'll need a small ship. Let's basically get two of these Wilhelm the First. After we basically get a little more money out. Ship route A1 and ship route A2. We're going to get two of these to service the carriage service. Two more for the one in REMS. And finally... A p and finally about... Mm, four. The service, the inter... The or the intercity service. Actually, two. And that's basically all the vehicles we have in service so far. Once we start the game, it's all... It's all ahead. With my little Colombians now basically running the passenger commuter trains between Paris, Rems, and Troyes, and my little 060 goods engine basically handling the trains of sandstone, we're gonna basically start making back the money. One of the coolest things about this mod as well is the fact that all these trains actually have numbers on their sides. So train one has, of course, one on its side. Same for train number two. And now with these trolleys in service and everything else, I believe that will basically be a good stopping point for us. So if you enjoyed this episode of my Let's Play Transport Heaver 2, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to Texas and to Guess this game industries for new video uploads every Friday or Saturday, depending on my onset schedule. And as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!